What is up guys, it is Coaster Watch here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a full review, a very small review of a very small park, also known as Fun Spot America, or more specifically Fun Spot Kissimmee. This is a very small park, but it's actually quite enjoyable, and I would highly recommend stopping here if you're in the area. This park has an excellent flat ride collection, some decent family rides, and overall is just a nice little park that you can stop by. So I'm going to go through every aspect of this park and give it an overall final score of how much I would recommend, well not, not so much how much I would recommend visiting it, but more like just how much I like the park on a scale of 1 to 10. There we go. Anyways, let's start off with the roller coasters. Mind Blower absolutely carries this. If Mind Blower didn't exist, this park wouldn't even be on the map. Mind Blower absolutely carries this entire park. I hate to say it, but it's true. It is a fantastic coaster, don't get me wrong. But that's like the only thing that this park can fall back on if they had anything to fall back onto. They also have a Rockstar, which is a family wild mouse, which gives airtime if your restraints loose. And then there's Kitty Coaster, which is just a kitty coaster. You guys guessed it. And this park actually has a very impressive flat ride collection. This is one of the best flat ride collections I've seen. Because um, most parks that I go to focus on dark rides and um, family water rides such as Disney World. This park has an SNS Scream and Swing, Flying Scooters, SBF Dance Party, and the World's Tall Sky Coaster. I guess I could go through each of those. The Scream and Swing, pretty good, just just a Scream and Swing, nothing special. Um, the, the Flying Scooters are excellent. This is my first set of flyers that I've done, and it is amazing. The SBF Dance Party is basically a Hus Frisbee, but it inverts. It's like one of those small things, kind of similar to what you would see at Kentucky Kingdom. And then, I have the World's Tallest Sky Coaster. So, this is another thing that puts this park on the map. And this Sky Coaster is excellent. Best Sky Coaster I've ever done. I done it, I haven't done it since, like, 6th grade. But, it was truly amazing. It was still memorable. Even though I've done it 4 years ago, It's I still remember it to this very day. So, those are kind of what drew me into this park as well, because, well, besides Mind Blower, this park has an excellent flat ride collection. Dare I say it, the best flat ride collection in all of Florida. That, that's not really bold, considering no other parks really have any flat rides besides BGT and, like, Disney's, like, two flat rides. But anyways, let's continue. This park also has go-kart tracks. So that's what um, was kind of also their original draw. Um, they have Vortex, which has a 45 degree decline and a very like twisty layout. It's not a twisty layout, it's more like a spiral up and then a big drop and then you do it again. And they also have another track, I forgot what it's called, but I like I like the blue track better. Just If you only had to do one go-kart track, just do the blue one. And one thing I do like is when you buy your unlimited wristband, you get the go-karts with the wristband. So you don't have to pay extra like most parks, so I like that too. This park has an arcade, a small kitty area, um, and yeah. And in terms of food and staff, well, the staff here are actually very nice. Um, they're, they're, they're cool people to be around. They let you do re-rides and stuff. And this park has a good rain policy. They only do close the rides if there's lightning or thunder within five miles of the park. So really, it's not like, oh, there's thunder way out there, we're going to close the rides. It's like, okay, five miles, you should get inside. But if it's raining, as long as it's not too heavy, they'll keep the rides open. So this park has a good weather policy. And then their food. Their food is nothing special. It's just like theme park food. Um, but it kind of seems like they got it frozen just out of their freezer and they put it in the microwave for a minute. Um, that's the only way to describe it. It reminds me of like frozen pizzas that you would buy from like Walmart. Um, and then one thing that I didn't like about this park, I found a bug inside of my Icy, um, and the funny thing is I drank a lot of it too before I noticed it, and I'm like, oh my god, that that's a bug, and it was a very big bug, I don't really know what it was, but it was a bug, and then they, they, filled, they refilled it for me and they like washed the cup and everything, so, I mean, that was always nice to them, they didn't really have to do that, they could have just like yelled at me, um, and this park doesn't have the best scenery or theming either. Like, it is a small park. They're not going to focus on the theming. Like, I couldn't tell you what Rockstar is themed to. It's themed to, like, the soft drink. I think they're getting ad revenue from that. Um, Mind Blower, I, I don't really know. The trains have, like, a TNT thing on the front, but it's not really themed to anything. Um, but it is a small park, so I wouldn't really ex you shouldn't really expect theming out of it. But it is surrounding a lake, so that's a nice little um, picture bracket drop. And before I give this park's final score, let me just say that this park is very, very small. As I've said, 
But for being such a small park, it is really good. In terms of small parks, I could say this is one of the best small parks in the U.S. So it's truly an enjoyable place to be. I really like being here. But since it's so small, the highest score I can give this park is a 6.5 out of 10. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad park. It's a good place to stop here for a couple hours, grab some credits, grab a couple flat rides, and then just head out. It's not a place you want to spend all day at. But overall, would I recommend this park if you're in the area? Absolutely. Mind Blower is fantastic. Their flyers are amazing. Definitely come by here. Even if it's only for an hour, I would still do it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave some comments on what you think about this park. Leave a comment on what you guys want to see next from me. I have a pretty cool idea that I think is going to come out on Friday. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.